I got something. Gladys aka is that your hair and welcome back to my channel I'm here with a brand new unit from Janet collections line and it's called Jode this is actually from their new natural me line this line is supposed to mimic type 3 and type 4 hair textures so I was really excited to get it let me just give you a quick 360 of the wig So Joe does come with your typical cap construction, two combs here right in the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. I really wish they would stop putting combs like right next to the parting space. That's so annoying. Joe does come with like a, I would say four inch parting space and it does claim to have a natural hairline, which I will get more into in the review. So let's just start with the pros. So one of the main reasons why I bought this wig, other than the stock card, I saw my girl Cassie That Girl review this wig in a 30 color and it looks so good on her. I just had to have it. So I was like, you know what, let me get it too. I'm gonna see what it's about. Let's just get into the pros. So one of the pros to this unit is definitely the style and the texture. The style is so freaking cute. I love it. I think it's really nice. This is how my hair would look if I blew it out and set it with rollers under a dryer. This is exactly what it would look like. I mean, to the T. So, I think this is awesome. It didn't come exactly like this. I did finger comb through this style. I absolutely love the texture. I think it mimics my natural hair perfectly. And I have a type 4B, 4B, 4C hair. If I set my hair with rollers under a dryer, after blow drying it, it would come out just like this. So I think that's awesome. Another pro this week is the parting space. I think it came really nicely. I didn't have to tweeze or pluck anything. The cap also fits really nice and comfortable. I wouldn't say it's like totally like I'm swimming in the cap, but I think it will definitely fit you if you have a larger head. I have a medium sized head. So if you have like a 23 inch head, this will still fit you. Right now it is coming down pretty much on both sides. like. I think it fits really nicely. Now, let me just get into the cons of this wig. First con is the shedding. I did attribute that shedding partially to some of the cutting that I did along the hairline, but I just noticed even when I wasn't finger combing, it was just shedding for no reason. I, I didn't understand why all the shedding. My other con is also the texture. You know I like the texture? I don't like the fibers. I'll say that the con is the fibers that they use for this hair. It's not heat safe. So when I use my curling wand at the top, it started burning and I'm like, what the, like, what was going on? I really wish they used like a more premium fiber for this wig to achieve this style. But overall, I think Jode is super, super cute and I, I'm feeling her. I'm really feeling her. The hairline is pre-tweezed a little bit, but it's not ear to ear. I don't know why they said that. It's more like four by four free tweeze hairline in my opinion. Now when I put this on my mannequin, the hairline does look really nice. I wasn't able to use the hairline um, as you saw when I first put it on. When I tried to put it forward, it just looked really funky on me. So I, I am wearing this a little behind my hairline and it's fine. Like I filled it in with my eyeliner and if the wind blows, it's cool. I mean, this is like some lace showing. I could fill that in some more, but I don't think it's a total deal breaker. This is a natural hairstyle. It doesn't have to be like totally neat and perfect. Now the point of this video was to show you how to make your parting look as natural as possible. And I think I did a pretty damn good job. I mean, when I wear these wigs, 
I want you to be like, girl, is that your hair? Like, isn't that the name of your channel? What's going on? <laughs> and yeah, I think I did well. Just some tips, make sure that you, you know, assess the wig on your head first to see how it falls on you and to see like if you need to wear it all the way to the front or if you need a little bit behind the hairline. If you have a widow's peak like me, you'll run into like some different issues. I've talked about me cutting a V in my lace, which helps me tremendously when it comes to blending. I did do it with this unit as well. Also making sure that you have your powder on hand. I normally use a 360 color. I do have the Maybelline 355 color as well, which is a tad bit lighter, which kind of looks more like my scalp. And I sometimes use it further back here. So I might use two powders at as a combination. One thing I think is super important when assessing how natural the parting is, is the angle at which you're looking at it. So from this angle, yeah, I think it looks great. But if I tilt my head up, how does it look from that angle? You see what I mean? Like you can kind of detect whether the, the powder is too light. You can also detect if there's any lifting. Normally if the powder is too light, you know, I'll just um, apply the 360 powder instead. So like here, looks a little light to me so I'm just gonna apply a little bit here to kind of like blend it some more okay just to blend it a little bit more also when there is lifting I have no problem applying some more got to be glue I will normally just put like if I see lifting right here I'll just put a tad bit here and let it kind of get tacky and press down and again i'm looking at it from this angle because when i record it happens to me sometimes i'll look at footage after i record and i'm like damn it there's still a line of demarcation and i didn't fix it and i want to fix it and i don't want to freaking put a disclaimer every time i have a video so you know i'll just put a little bit here and let it get tacky um now, mind you, I'm showing you like an extreme close up of this. No one's going to be, well, most people are not going to be in your head like that. And if they are, they need to be buying you these waves, honestly. But I am a perfectionist when it comes to the parting space. So, you know, I, I'm like, look. I want this to look as natural as possible, especially when it's my hair texture. This needs to look like scalp, okay? So I will spend like an extra 10 minutes trying to get the parting to perfection. And I think I'm doing the damn thing. That's just my opinion. You let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't be afraid to experiment. Recently, and by recently, I mean today, <laughs> I tried using some edge control when I was laying it down. And the edge control I use um, is the booster one. And it, it gets real slick. So I'm like, this seems like it would adhere some lace. Why not? So I also tried using edge control the first time I applied this, not this time, to lay it down when I had it on the side and that worked well. You know, just, you know, use what's in your little arsenal and get creative. So please, please, please let me know how you feel about this wig in the comments down below. How do you feel about the style? How are you feeling about the texture? How are you feeling about some of my comments about the wig? Would you purchase it? Let me know. Make sure you check out Cassie That Girl's video. I'll link it in the description box where she shows this in the 30 color. It's a gorgeous color. But of course, she has her own thoughts on the wig as well. So make sure you watch her video. And if you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. Make sure you click that red subscribe button and tap the notification bell next to it so that you don't miss any of my videos. Y'all, it's been a hell of a ride. It's been eight months here on this thing. And I'm so happy that I started. So thank you. I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'll be